Harp split it can be a wooden piece, but the thing is a wooden piece we have to wrap it with a bandage or a piece of cloth or whatever we have in order to be soft have it as soft on the patient body, not to get injury because of friction or that. So it can be also plastic material. Can be also sometimes we can use this of cartoon. We can use a book or newspaper sometimes for splinting the fracture. So the available thing. If it is a soft splint, we can use bed sheet or uh, a towel towel for that. So <coughs> If this client is having a fracture in his leg, let us say that it is here, in this part. So I have to fix it first with a hard split. So I put I put two pieces of wooden piece for that client. Mr. So, I will use two pieces of uh, split or wooden piece. As we said before, that we have to fix the joint above and the joint below. So here, the knee joint should be fixed. Here, the knee joint. So the piece, the wooden piece, has to be above the knee joint, and also we have to fix that. Then I will use binders. I have to enter the binders. You know that underneath the knee joint, there is a space. So from that part, I can enter them. Then I have to adjust them in their places. The longest one, it should be toward the feet. Why toward the feet? Because I will show you why it will be like this because we will use a figure of A to fix that piece. If the client is wearing shoes, are we going to take it off or not? Why? <coughs> so since there is a it might be painful, it might be, we might be using it also as a support. So anyway, if it doesn't interfere with the circulation or with the, if it is easy to remove it sometimes, or, or sometimes you'll find it out to follow, <coughs> even though after the accident, you might find that that uh, shoes is out. <coughs> so in this case, we are not worried about it. So the longest one, as we said, it should be at the ankle joint. Anyway here, we have to avoid, we have to be aware not to put any binder over the side of the fracture itself. So it, be, it has to be above and or below. So we are using four binders here. We will fix this one just a temporary. Not we will, we have just this is a temporary one. And 
we will fix the first one was here above the knee also just a temporary bit not we might need a piece some pieces of goes for the support and to fill the gaps by that we will not exert pressure on too much pressure on the area so the gaps I have to fill it with a piece of goes or a cloth then I will fix the other binders it is better to fix it to make the knot over the wooden piece to the side so I fix this one then this one it should be below the level of the fracture I will come back to this one and I will fix it permanently then I will come to the one here in the ankle joint and also I will fix it permanently so I will make a figure of 8 like this I'll keep the feet erect in a right angle. So by that, the leg is fixed. Okay? So this is the hard split. We'll show you the soft split again. Soft split. If I didn't find any pieces of wooden piece or something hard that I can fix it, and I have only a bit cheaper, I can use it. So I will grab it. So we are well working with the available thing. So I will make it uh, as a U shape. I will put it here. After also putting the binders there. Then also I will temporarily bind the first binder above the knee. Then the last one here also temporarily. I will fix this one. Bear a minute. It has to be also above the level of the fracture. This is the side of the fracture. has to be tight enough but it has to be also easily to remove then I will again fix this one as a figure of eight then I will go back to the first one and fix it properly. So now it is the leg is fixed. 
I have to check after that the circulation by asking the client if he is having numbness, if he can, then if he can move his tools and can be elevated and on a below until we transfer him to the first. And we can use also blood compresses to prevent swelling and to reduce the pain. Okay, so this is the soft tongue splint. The third one, it is the anatomical splint. In anatomical splint, here in this leg, there is a fracture, and here this one doesn't have any problem. So I will bind them together. By binding them together, it's the same way. So, I will bind the two legs together. If we don't have any, any either soft bandage or hard bandage, in this case, there is no way. We have to fix it. What we can use, we can use the body part of the, the client. So, we will use the body part of the client. Then, we will fix it with a figure of the client. It should be toward the good leg, which is, has no fracture. Okay, so by that, this is the anatomical split. So they are becoming. The two legs become as a one here. Then I have to elevate it, and also I have to check for the circulation. Ask for if he has numbness. If I can see if he is not wearing the shoes, I can see also the two nails. Uh, if it is pink or if it is becoming bluish discoloration, cyanotic. The movement of the tooth if he is able to move his tool or not, and I can check the distance marks. So this is the way that I will be sure that there is no interference with the circulation. So those are the three ways of fixing the fracture. Either soft splint, hard splint, or anatomical splint. Or we can use both of them together. Any question?